chose this project because I go to the mall a lot with my friends and I just wanted to keep everybody safe. I never get enough sleep and so sleep deprivation is a pretty important thing for me. Environmental management is very important because of all the problems that we have with our environment today and I thought this would be an interesting thing to research. I like to listen to lots of different types of music and I wanted to find out if it had any physical effects. There are a lot of people in the world who really have been impacted by kidney cancer and by its effects and what I want to do is hopefully provide a solution. I was watching the news and I saw this report about how this how male fishes in Chesapeake Bay had been changing sexes to females and really got me interested and I like immediately went home and I found this idea of how I could use this for a science fair project and that's how my idea was born. I was really interested in studying infertility because my mentor had trouble conceiving children and her story was very moving and powerful so I hope that by helping her with her work I could better understand what's going wrong. Willoughby and I live 33 miles north of the Arctic Circle. And our goal was to test the viability of biodiesel in the Arctic for heating purposes. I worked for my stepfather who was a contractor and he was building a house and I would help him out just doing little jobs for him and I would bring him his nails and I'd notice that some of them had rust on them and I wanted to know what happened and what the chemistry was behind that rust. I have a lot of friends that are baseball players and I asked them what the most prevalent injury in baseball was and they said that it was rotator cuff and so I decided that was the one I wanted to focus on. I am interested in Alzheimer's because my great grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and unfortunately she passed away but I wanted to possibly find any possible treatment that could stop this disease in its tracks. Um, I wanted to do a sleep or neuroscience project and I wasn't allowed to work with humans um, and so I was looking for an invertebrate species so I decided to work with cockroaches um, and what I wanted to do was test to see how sleep deprivation would affect their retention of olfactory memory. Well I myself am a lifeguard and I do a lot of sports outside and I also play a lot of sports outside and spend a lot of time outside all year and it's important to know how to protect your skin and especially with cancer now skin cancer becoming very common. We were trying to find which sunscreen is most effective and how we can protect ourselves better. When I saw the Minnesota bridge collapse, I wanted to know why this horrific event would happen. I found out about corrosion and then I went from there and the, it just kind of snowballed. So I wanted to do something I enjoyed. So I ended up doing this project because I love medicine. Lyme disease is something that I can work with. It's not that hard to work with. and. Um, I had to use dog blood because I couldn't use human blood. When we were trying to decide what where to, to take our project, we kind yeah. of had different ideas. But we, we came together. We blended them together and came yeah. up with our project. We knew we wanted to do something with like behavioral studies and... Um, and we wanted to do subliminal messaging originally, but then we figured maybe something a little easier for us to put together. And we're both really happy with what we yeah. have at the end. My goal was to get the most power out of a worm turbine by varying the pitch angles. Now, my goal is to one day create my own wind turbine to power my own house. Well, at science fairs, I always love to talk to the kids about how they got their idea, why they chose their project. They pick something that really appeals to them for some personal reason. It's exactly what veteran science researchers do. They know it'll bring out their best in the imagination, creativity, all the rest. And so these kids are natural scientists. Here they get to do their own thing, take ownership. That's the key. That's the thing that's so wonderful about these fairs.